Hello this is Adrian from Freelease. This video will show you how to double check and make sure you have the correct drivers on your Windows operating system. It will show you how to delete the wrong driver or delete a driver. There is a procedure that you must take. And it will show you how to delete ports as well. That will all help to speed your network up. First of all, just so we can get all get on the same page, on Windows 8, Press and hold the Windows symbol between the left hand control and Alt key and then press the S key at the same time. That will open the Windows search dialog box and you want to type in printer and it will come up with devices and printers. Click on that and you'll end up on that page and that's where XP Vista and 7 are going to be in a few seconds. Go to start on XP Vista and 7, go to start, devices and printers and printers and faxes on XP. That'll open the, uh, the printer dialog box. I think that's what they call it. First of all, we'll, I'll show you the 3520. Right click and go to printer properties. In this model of machine, or in this series of machine, there's a 2330, 2820, 3520 and 4520C. They're all exactly the same and the same driver. They're just different speeds. If you've got the correct driver on and it says configuration in the top right hand side, press configuration, it'll ask the machine, hello, what are you? And it'll come the machine will come back and say I'm a Toshiba and I've got my draw layout A4, R, A4 and A4. If you have a sorter or a finisher on the left hand side, you'll have that thrown on the picture as well, because the machine would have said I've got a sorter on as well. If for any reason you can't see that on any of the systems, including XP, it's because SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, is not enabled. That's that one there. That's what you see on Windows 7 and Vista. And on XP, go to Ports. Stretch the port out so you can actually see what it says. Go down. I'm using 192.168.1.250. If you go to configure that port, you'll see SNMP status enabled. On XP, that is the only way you can get to it. Check and make sure SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol status, is enabled and OK. Now go back and configure. I'll manually configure it this time. And that'll be that. So that's that side of it. That's for your, your 2330, 2820, 3520 and 4520. That's how you check that one. If you have this driver on, right click and properties that's the Windows driver if you got the Windows driver on or one that looks like that it says device settings on it click on device settings and that'll actually show you what kind of driver it is it's actually it's written in the real world it's a HP driver that's what Windows use by the looks of it they use all HP drivers to drive all of the machines behind the scenes compatible with technology compatible isn't close enough if you know what I mean it's either right or it's wrong and the trouble with a photocopier or anything that's in your office when it does play up it plays up when you want to use it so it plays up at the most inconvenient time so what we have to do we have to eliminate problems before they happen if you have that driver that looks like that I'll show you how to delete it I'll show you in two seconds how to delete it when we have a look at the other models I'll close those two down and the other type of machines that Freelease do. Right click and printer properties. There's a 3540 and a 4540. Anything with a 40C at the back end of it is a 40 series machine. This one also has, I'll open that Windows one again just so you can compare it. This one also has device settings on it, but when you actually press device settings or click device settings, it'll configure it. That is the right driver. I am that the reason it came out and it didn't look like a Toshiba machine and the picture is because I'm not actually using a 3540 or 4540C. If it configures when you press device settings, you've got the right driver of 3540. The model number is on the front door, on the label right in the middle of the front door, and it'll either say whatever it, whatever the model is actually, it'll either say in our case, in Freelease's case, it'll say a 3520. 
or the 20 series or the 3540 and the 40 series this is the 40 series driver it does say device settings and if you click it it will configure right I'll close those down now and the wrong one yet again that's the same one I just opened that is the HP version or the Windows driver which doesn't work very well it will give you intermittent paper jams mainly because it doesn't configure and it hasn't got a good communications with the machine with the MFP so I'll close that down and I'll show you how to delete the drivers that we don't want to delete a driver you must double click on it and make sure there's nothing in the print queue see what's printing in this case on the Windows one this is the print list or the print queue if you have anything in there click on printer and cancel all jobs it'll cancel all the jobs you will not be able to delete the driver if there are any jobs in that queue so wait for the jobs to be deleted and then close that we'll go back right click remove device yes please that's got rid of that and that is the only way I in this case I don't want the 3540 on there either because I'm using the 3520 machine so we'll double click on that one Oops. go to printer nothing in the print list but if there was anything in your print list you must cancel all documents and yes and you'll see all the documents disappear then close it right click remove device yes that's how to check and make sure you have the right driver on your oper Windows operating system. I hope it helps. You will find your one th more thing. Don't go. One more thing I want to show you. Open devices and printers up again. Sorry about that. I nearly forgot to show you how to do that. Any port that you have open will slow your network down. It means that your firewall, your antivirus and all the rest of the programs that monitor your machine have to work hard and monitor a port it will slow your computer system down right click go to printer properties under ports stretch out the port and have a look the one that's highlighted blue will be the port that I'm using any port that's on there forget about the LPT ones and all the other ones we've only got we've only got a um, on Win Windows Vista and 7 delete the port as you delete the driver XP doesn't so if you see anything else that says 192 and it's not actually related to any of the drivers that are up here behind like I've got a HP on this system as well um, if any of the ports are not related to a driver it will slow your system down so you actually open any of the drivers to get to that one to get to see the ports list so right click and print the properties go to ports open the port or stretch the port out so you can see it if you had any ports on there that are not doing anything click it and delete the port I'm not going to delete any of these ports because this is mine hasn't got any extra ports on it that's what, why our system works quite well that's how you delete a port that's how you check to see if you've got the correct driver on your machine uh, your computers your Windows computers that is thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.